day everyone so my name is Richard and I am very happy to be with you for this first edition of learning with Richard so the first lesson that we're going to discuss is about the user interface of Revit 2016 okay so the first time you open your Revit you will see this window which is what we call the recent files window so the recent files list the models and families that you opened most recently. So these are the recently opened or created projects, as well as the recently created or open families. So you can click a recent model or family to open it or use one of the buttons to perform an actions. Okay, so this is what we call the recent files window. So for us to be able to explore more the user interface of Revit 2016, so let us try to open a project. Okay, so the term here in Revit is project. We do not call it drawing. Okay, so in AutoCAD we call it drawing. So in Revit we call it project. So I'm going to open a project. So I'm just going to use the default sample project, which can be found on your Drive C program files, Autodesk, the Revit version, and samples folder. So if you click the samples folder, you see here the different uh, projects. We, we have RAC, which is Revit Architecture, RME, which is Revit MEP, and Revit Structure RST. So these are the supported files of Revit. Okay, so we will be opening here a sample project file from Revit Architecture. So Revit Architecture Advanced Sample Project that RVT. Alright, so let's hit the open button here to open the project. Okay, so let us try to explore the user interface of Revit. At the upper left corner here, you will see a very big letter R. So this button is what we call application button. Okay, so if you click the application button, it will open the applications menu. Okay, so from here, okay, you can see that the application menu provides access to common file actions such as uh, creating a new project, opening, saving, it also allows you to manage the files using the more advanced tools such as the export and publish. Okay, so remember this portion, we call this applications menu. Okay, just beside the applications button here, you can see here this portion, which is what we call the quick access toolbar. So the quick access toolbar contains a set of default tools. Okay, so you can customize this toolbar to display the tools that you use most often. Okay, and take note that you can also change the location of your quick access toolbar. If you want to place it below, you can just hit the button, this button, and then you can select here, show below the ribbon. This is usually what I do, okay? So I'm used to it. So I always place my quick access toolbar below, okay? But for this exercise, I'll just place it above, okay? So I'll just click again this button and then select show above ribbon. Okay, so just beside your quick access toolbar is the title bar. So here you'll see the version of Revit that you're using as well as the name of the project that you are opening and the name of the current view that is open here on our drawing area. That is what we call the title bar. And then you can also see here the search bar. Just below your quick access toolbar and then the title bar, you'll see here the ribbon. So the ribbon displays when you create or open a file. So it provides all the tools necessary to create a project or family. Okay, so we call this ribbon. Okay, so the, the our ribbon contains the ribbon tabs. Okay, so this is what we call ribbon tabs. We also have 
uh, the buttons okay and also the panels so we call this ribbon panel okay so you, you can also minimize your ribbon by selecting this minimize to panel buttons and minimize to panel titles and minimize the tabs so by doing that it will saves you a lot of space here okay but for this exercise I'll just show the full ribbon okay you will notice every time I move my pointer it shows there the tooltip all right so we call these tooltips it provides information about the tool in our user interface or an item in the drawing area okay or instructions on what to do next when using a tool so if you want to control how your tooltips appears on your quick access toolbar you can go to your application button you can go to options and then you can go to our uh, here user interface and then you can change the tooltip assistance from none minimal normal which we are using currently and then high okay i'll just leave it i'll just leave it it on uh, uh, normal so I select ok all right okay so this portion is what we call the project browser so the project browser shows a logical hierarchy for all views schedules sheets and groups and other parts of the current project so as you expand and collapse each branch lower level items display okay you see you can hide right and then you can also expand so from here if you want to open a view you just need to double click it so project browser is very important it is just like the table of contents of your project so let's say I want to go to the level one entry level I'll just double click it so it will open now that view okay in case you accidentally close your rev your project browser you just have to right click at the blank space and then you can select your browsers and there you go so there's the project browser okay so aside from project browser another window that we have here is our properties palette so the properties palette is a modeless dialog where you can view and modify the parameters that define the properties of elements so if i'm going to zoom in to this portion by scrolling the middle button of my mouse just like in autohide if i'm going to select this you will notice the properties here will tell me what is that element okay so it will allows me to modify that element now i'm going to deselect the element by clicking outside and then you will notice again the properties here will change the properties becomes the view properties so meaning to say this is the property of the current view that is currently open which is our floor plan 01 entry level just like what your title bar is saying as well as your project browser is saying okay so you can have uh, multiple options for you to know what is the current view that is open okay so i'm going to zoom out again by scrolling the middle button of my mouse so just like your project browser in case you accidentally close or unknowingly close the properties you just need to right click at the blank space and then you can select there the properties okay all right so just below your your properties are your drawing area because we call this drawing area so you will see here the view control bar so we have a separate topic for the view control bar so this is the view control bar so it provides quick access to functions that affect the current view okay so this is our view control bar it only affects our current view if you go to another view the setting of the view control bar there might be different from the first setting that you have okay so this is our 
view control bar. So just below your, your view control bar is what we call the status bar. The status bar provides tips or hints on what to do. Or when you highlight an object, like for example, if I highlight this, notice that your status bar will tell you what is that element. Even if you do not select that element, the status bar here will tell you what is that. Okay, your, st your status bar also gives you hints on what to do next. Like for example, if I'm going to click here the wall tool, so you will notice my status bar here tells me that I need to click to enter the wall start point. Alright, okay. so I'm going to terminate my wall tool by selecting here the modify or by pressing the escape button. Okay, so if you want to pan your drawing, you just need to hold the middle button of your mouse, just like what you are doing in AutoCAD. Okay, so these are the uh, part of the Revit 2016 that we are going to use in Revit most of the time. So these are the user interface. Our title bar, our quick access toolbar, the ribbon, the options bar, application button, the project browser, the properties, the view control bar, and then our status bar. Okay, so for our next topic, so we will be discussing our uh, view control bar. So for now, that's all. And I'm very, to, uh, I'm very happy to be with you again. So if you like the video, just hit the like button. You can also subscribe for me to be able to create more videos that will help you to uh, do your project using Revit. So for now, thank you.